Hi, I'm Ashley, coming to you from Marvel's Kids Museum in C-Shapes, where our guests love to engage in math play. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite artists. His name is Alexander Calder. Alexander Calder was best known for his sculptures. He loved to create mobiles, which hang from the ceiling and kind of move around. You may have had a mobile over your crib when you were a baby. He also was really well known for creating his stabiles. Stabiles are sculptures that stay in place and are permanently on the ground. Sometimes it can be fun to imitate famous works of art using other materials. Today, we're gonna use things that you can find in your home, just sturdy pieces of paper. I've got file folders, index cards, any kind of card stock or sturdy paper that you have would be great. Markers, scissors, and I've got some fun stickers as well. Today, we're gonna create one of Alexander Calder's stabiles out of those household objects. It's really simple to do, but it looks really fun and kind of complicated so you can show it off to your friends and family. So I'm going to start, I'm going to use a file folder that I cut, just an old file folder. Like I said earlier, index cards work great as well. Here's a small one that I made out of an index card. And I'm going to work on the fold. If I'm using a piece of paper that isn't already folded like the file folder, I will start by folding it in half like this. Now, so that you can see how I'm working, I'm going to draw my lines with a marker. You don't have to draw them, but you can draw them if it makes it a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to start at the bottom on the folded side by drawing a line. It can have angles or it can be curved. It's going to go all the way to the edge. My next line is going to stop before I get to the edge. So it's going to stop right there. Then I'm going to draw a third line. This one is also going to stop. And then I'm going to do a fourth one that will stop as well. So the top line is the only one that goes to the edge of the paper. Now I'm going to cut these lines. I'm going to cut exactly where I see them. So. You don't get right on your line, it's no big deal. This one, remember, is going to stop before I get to the fold. So once I have it like this, I'm going to open it up. So when I open this up, it's going to be the same on both sides. That's known in math as symmetry or symmetrical. So it's the same shapes on both sides. If I start to bend these, though, in different ways, like bending this one this way and this one back, this one going this way, I'm going to make it asymmetrical where it's not the same on both sides anymore. So this is how I'm going to make my creation stand up. You can bend it and fold it until you get it just the way that you want it. I think that's kind of cool. I can flatten it back out or I could do this before I fold it and I can start adding fun stickers to my creation or I can use markers to draw different shapes or lines or patterns. I can have fun really creating some neat designs on my sculpture to give it a little bit more of a flair or more character, make it a little bit more fun and interesting to look at. I'm going to draw some circles, maybe triangles. How do I know that that's a triangle? Because a triangle has three sides, of course, right? Here's the one that I created. Yeah, as you can see, it's got lots of fun designs on it. It's standing in one place, so it's very stable. That's why it's called a stabile. We can't wait to see the Calder creations that you create at home. Please share pictures or videos of these with us at Marvel's Kids Museum social media. Have fun.